Giving women the same rights as men when it comes to high school and collegiate, collegiate athletics is the subject of a resurgence in the controversy over Title IX. Dr. Janice Johnson DS is president of Grassroots and here now to discuss the 40th anniversary of Title IX. Let's talk about the intent of Title IX. The intent of Title IX is actually kind of an interesting legislation. It was um, Patsy Mink actually created the language and sports was never a part of it. It was about simply affording um, women um, the same accommodations as men. And it was a small piece of legislation where no one paid attention. But the outcome of this legislation would be transformative for women, especially for poor women and girls. And at what point did that change? So in 1972 is when the legislation was passed, and it has been contested over the years um, at several different points. But the intent was simply to afford women the same rights. But when it changed was when women decided to use it in the Education Act in order to be able to get the same um, support and services as men and boys had gotten. Um, and that would be some years later after the 1972 legislation. But in 1979, it was contested in 1981, straight up until 2001. We begin to see law, um, we begin to see lawsuits where there was an expansion and what people felt like in some cases a retraction. Well, you saw schools that had major budgets for yeah. uh, the boys football teams and basketball teams. And now when women are moving into sports, uh, you're seeing these colleges have to respond accordingly. And, and I guess this is where now you see a greater application of the Title IX. Yes, so the, the application of Title IX is that wherever there's federal funding, um, there must be equal accommodation for women and girls. And that accommodation extends not only to the locker room, but also to the budgets, to the uniforms, etc. And while there's been lots of effort made to see that that occurs, that's not always been the case. In fact, in um, one of my colleague is, is in great uh, turmoil with the New York City schools because Title IX is not upheld in some schools. So girls' locker rooms are in disrepair, their uniforms are of a lower quality, um, the amount of information that's made accessible to them just does not occur. Well, who's in charge of enforcement? Well, in some cases there's supposed to be a Title IX officer in every school district right, especially if there's uh, federal funds. But it's not always clear um, who that Title IX officer is. It's not posted on the websites, it's not made known, and therefore it's sometimes ambiguous. And that is a part of the challenge that continues with women's and girls' sports. There's another flip side that some schools have said, well, rather than expend all this money on women's sports, we'll just detract what we're putting into men's sports. Yes, and, and it is there that we really see the contestation takes place, right? It is, I am simply not invested and I'm not willing to make the effort necessary in order to support women and girls' health. And this is a tragedy, especially for impoverished women and girls, because in so many, so many things have happened federally, we see that there is a reduction in terms of physical education. We know that um, schools exist in places where women and girls cannot play outside. And therefore, having sports is a crucial part of what um, can be done to improve women and girls' health and well-being. As we introduced you, we introduced you as president of Grassroots. Yes. Let's take a step back and explain what that organization is about and how this ties in. So this is my favorite thing in the, on the planet. So I am, uh, it's Grassroots Community Foundation. My partner is Black Thought. You might know him and see him every night on Jimmy Fallon. He is the lead singer for The Roots. Uh -huh. And um, we have been very, very old friends. And uh, six years ago, he gave birth, he and his wife, Michelle Trotter, to a little girl and that changed our world. I happened to give birth to a child seven years ago and Grassroots is a health advocacy organization and our work is really dedicated to improving the health and well-being of women and girls and this is crucially important because in the era where so many of um, black and brown men are incarcerated the people who live in poor communities and urban spaces are women and girls and we need to see that they are maintained because they're the guardians of the family um, and so Grassroots we have a 10 city initiative um, all across the U.S., the 10 cities where women and girls have the worst health outcome. And we go to those cities and through concerts and working together with policymakers, we provide funding, for funding for educational recreational programs. So there's a natural tie-in with what you're doing yeah. and using the Title IX yes. to say, you know, not only are we talking about academics and sports, but health. Yes, and you have to. So many people are mistakenly thinking that health is separate from education. 
but there are crucial things that show that when girls play sports, they have a higher educational achievement. It also delays sexual initiation. So girls who participate in sports are less likely to be teenage mothers. They're more likely to be affluent. It's an opportunity, especially for poor girls, to become um, educational, um, to get their education that they, de they need. Many of our girls would not have this opportunity. Right now, we have a strategic partnership with the New York Liberty, the women's basketball team. And that partnership really is, um, it's a natural part of our mission because all of the players on the New York Liberty team are beneficiaries of Title IX. They're college educated women who now are able to not only be healthy, but they have economic liberation that's necessary. Sure, sure. And so Title IX is essential if we're thinking about women and girls' health, and essential if we're thinking about economic inequality. And just being a part of a team really helps you not only excel in the field, but in whatever career you choose. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk oh to us about this. My and for all of your work pleasure. that you do. Well, I hope that people will come out. We're having a fundraiser um, at Madison Square Garden oh, on great. Thursday um, in support of this effort of sports and women and girls health. Is there a website you can go yes. to for that information real yeah. quick? Yes, you can go to um, powerforward.eventbrite.com. Dot com, All right. right? Or to our website, I Grassroots Community Foundation. Grassroots Community Foundation. I, I have three Foundation. daughters, so I am yeah. intimately familiar with some of the <laughs> issues you're talking about, and I wish you great success, and perhaps you can attract the attention of female legislators who can then help you push that. Yes, and I hope to see you both on Thursday. Well, thank you so much for being with us. No problem.